Hi, I'm Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today we're at the Cannes Yachting Festival, the largest in-water boat show in the Mediterranean, and we're on board the largest catamaran, which I also think is probably the most impressive catamaran at this show, the Sun Reef 80. With 80 feet of waterline and almost 38 feet of beam, her dimensions are impressive. Like any catamaran, the foredeck is one of the most important areas on the boat while either under sail or at anchor. On starboard side, we've got a nice sun pad lounging area with a uh, cockpit table, sun pad support, as well as a door to bring you back to the salon. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we go inside on the yacht. Across the foredeck, we also have four large deck hatches, which is a perfect place to store things like inflatable paddle boards, other water sports, and the equipment you'll need while you're cruising or on charter. So like any catamaran, we have a trampoline up forward, and on the Sun Reef 80, it's a split trampoline arrangement with a bow sprit. We've got a Code Zero, as well as a hydraulic Genoa furler. As we make our way back to the cockpit on the Sun Reef 80, one of the things we'll notice is the exceptional quality of all the stainless work throughout the yacht, as well as the high bulwarks, which give a very safe, secure feeling. Sunreef has always prided themselves on building a high quality yacht. One of the easiest places on any catamaran to see that is in the standing rigging, and on the Sunreef 80, it's evident that it's overbuilt. So as we continue to make our way back to the cockpit, one of the things you'll notice are the flush hatches and how wide the weather decks are on the Sun Reef 80. A couple of gradual steps bring you down to the cockpit, and before we explore that area, I'd like to point out that we've got a deck winch here as well as oversized cleats. Under where I'm standing right now is access to one of the two mechanical spaces on the Sun Reef 80. One of the most important areas on any catamaran is the sugar scoop. And on the Sun Reef 80, I absolutely love the sugar scoop. It's a nice gradual entry into the water. We've got swim ladders, both starboard and port. Whether fishing, diving, snorkeling, or just hanging out, the sugar scoop is always one of my favorite areas to hang out on a catamaran. In the latest Sunreef designs, the stern has always incorporated modular furniture, which allows you to remove that to create a very smooth transition from the salon to the cockpit to the swim platform. There's no better place on a catamaran to catch a sunset than the cockpit. Above me, we've got a nice rain shower. On the starboard side, there's a very large sunbed. Center line, we have a teak table, and because of the modular furniture, we're able to have seating for eight. Opposite of the sun pad, we have a beautiful wet bar with a refrigerator incorporated as well as plenty of storage. Also beneath the bar is an ice maker. Before we go inside, I'd love to take you guys up to the fly bridge. Over the years, I've been on a number of large catamarans, and one of the first things that really blew me away with the Sun Reef 80 is just the size of this flybridge. It is absolutely massive. The attention to detail Sun Reef puts in each one of their yachts is impressive. Yes, we have a large sun pad aft here, but they were smart enough to move all of the working lines outside of the guest area. So while you're hanging out here in the sun pad area, you don't have to worry about the traveler or main sheet. While underway, the flybridge is where most people tend to gravitate, and on the Sun Reef 80 center line, we have a massive settee with seating for 10. This also doubles as an al fresco dining option while at anchor. Just after the mast, we have the second wet bar area. We have a sink and top loading trash, as well as a refrigerator down below. 
For me, a catamaran is all about sailing. And on either side of the wet bar are our twin helms. This is what gets me the most excited as a sailor. Every sunroof is built to the owner's specifications. And on this boat, they went with the B&G Electronics package. So we have a touchscreen chart plotter, VHF remote, engine displays, compass, throttles, bow and stern thruster, traveler control, and then controls for the B&G electrics, a 12 volt switch panel, and then a Jabsco searchlight. As I've already mentioned, Sunreef put a lot of thought into the way that they ran the standing and running rigging on this boat. It's no different when we get here to the front of the flybridge to the base of the mast. The rigging plan on the Sunreef 80 lends itself to shorthanded sailing. Just aft on either side of the mast, we have two-speed Harkin electric winches. Outboard of those Harkin 70s are built-in line holders. One last thing I want to mention on the way down to the salon is this massive hardtop. Not only does it give us great sun protection, but it also offers a very good view of the mainsail through these clear windows. As we make our way into the salon, I want to point out how the Naval Architects at Sunreef not only did a great job creating a zero threshold entry, but also put very wide pocketing doors, creating a natural transition from the cockpit to the salon. As we make our way into the salon, we have our third dining area on the Sunreef 80 with seating for 10 over to port. And over to starboard, we have an oversized U-shaped settee where the backs drop down to create a very nice day bed. Centerline, we have this hideaway television, which makes this starboard area an ideal place for movie night. Forward of the hideaway television, we have a wine cooler with the soft touch open and close. Starboard forward, we have the lower helm station, which acts as a central control for the entire yacht. On the outboard side of the helm station, we've got lower controls for the diesel. We've got generator controls, bilge controls, and 12 volt switches. Starboard forward at the lower helm station, we've got engine controls, engine displays, another BNG chart plotter, a Sunreef proprietary systems control module, BNG autopilot control, and a VHF handset. Also incorporated into the helm seat is a BNG autopilot control. Making our way down the port forward companionway, we're gonna take a quick look at the two VIP staterooms. We're over here on the port side in one of the three guest cabins with a full walk around queen size berth, en suite head, plenty of storage, as well as a nice walk-in closet. As you come down the uh, starboard aft companionway, you've got recessed handholds that bring you down to the master stateroom. Starboard aft of the salon and eight steps down brings us to this massive owner stateroom. To my right, we have the master head. On the outboard side, we have a shower. In the middle, we have a large single basin sink. And then on the inboard side of the hull, we have the actual head. Moving forward from there, on the outboard side, we have a desk and vanity. On the inboard side, we have a beautiful settee. Just behind me, we have a king-size berth. On the outboard side, moving forward, we have plenty of storage in these signature windows that Sunreef has become known for that are found in all of the guest cabins. Continue our way forward, we have this beautiful walk-in closet with plenty of storage. We're gonna take the starboard forward companionway back to the salon where we're gonna end today's tour of the Sunreef 8. Hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough on the Sunreef 80 as much as we did. There were a couple areas we were unfortunately unable to show you because we were shooting during the Con Yachting Festival. We were unable to show the crew galley, the crew cabins, as well as the mechanical spaces in detail. If you'd like more information on those areas or have any other questions on the yacht, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to give you those details.